When I was a child, my um, parents actually did not attend church, but they had a, a church bus come around and pick me up every Sunday to go to church on my own. And from a very young age, I kind of just thought it was all part of a charade, I guess, that we were all supposed to pretend that we believed all this stuff. I really thought everyone was just pretending. I don't think I've ever been all in in the faith uh, belief system of any faith belief system. But mostly when people ask me to put a label on myself, I like to say that I'm humanist. As a matter of fact, I'm ordained a spiritual humanist clergy person so that I could marry people who didn't want to be married in a traditional church setting. I was working at a, a nonprofit that has a board of directors. And they, even though I wasn't openly atheist at work, um, they found out that I was atheist. And that is definitely not socially acceptable in that realm. And I really went through a t the worst time in my life. I was bullied, I was ostracized, and I lost a lot of weight, but not in a good way. Um, I really wanted to, to kill them with kindness. I wanted to succeed and I wanted to prove that I was, you know, taking the higher road, but it proved impossible. And so that affected me negatively because people try to impose their beliefs and their way of thinking on you. And when they discover that perhaps you think differently, they're afraid of you. And the first thing they want to do when they're afraid of you is get rid of you. They don't want something that challenges them in their life. Immediately following my leaving that job, I decided that I needed to do something to help heal. And I had to be active in that. I wasn't going to heal by myself. I needed to be active doing something to become whole again. And I did find Recovering From Religion, and they were starting a hotline project. And I got to hear lots of conversations, people calling in with their own pain that helped me realize I wasn't alone. I knew I wasn't alone, but hearing those other stories brings it from the logical I know I'm not alone to the I feel not alone, and that's two different places to be. I'm finally now at a place where I really feel at peace with the people I allow to be part of my life and the people that I get to enjoy in my life. I don't feel like I have to carry the picket sign and be loud, but I feel like I can hold my head high and just be who I am.